to be us. So back to what I was saying. Could be us. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do my first ever story time. Um, this is something that happened to me a few months ago. Um, I think it was almost a year ago now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go into that in this video. So don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and hit the bell so you do not miss any videos from me. To get into the um, story and what happened to me, basically before lockdown I was working in operations in London. I was originally living with a friend in a flat and then she was moving back to do a masters so I found a new flat which was kind of just like a flat share type situation and yeah I moved all my stuff in. Um, I didn't stay the night I moved my stuff in because I like I went back home for the weekend. I came back on the Monday when I had work the people were a little bit weird. I went in the kitchen to meet one of the guys and he was just like topless and barely said hello and it was just really awkward. So I didn't really have a good start to the place with the people there and no one ever introduced themselves or anything like that. I was kind of a bit scared to be honest. Um, the bathroom sink was blocked and I was assumed like the agency would come and fix that. Um, but they never did either. But anyway, that's a separate issue. Um, the second night I was there, I was it was about 11.30 p.m. I was just falling asleep. Um, I had my TV on um, and suddenly I kind of like looked at the wall and I saw a little bug just like crawling up the wall. And I was like, oh, whatever. Like I just like squished it. Um, and then, I saw another bug that looked exactly the same crawling up the wall um, and at that point I was like right okay I saw another one crawling up the wall and I, when you start to see like two or three of the same like insect you kind of start to think like where are they coming from is there a nest this is slightly weird um so yeah, at this point it was about half 11 midnight um, and I was getting really creeped out by the fact that there was bugs. I didn't know where they were coming from. I, so I then, what I did was I was like, okay, I started to become a little bit suspicious. I'd never seen a bed bug before. Um, I'd only heard stories about them. So, but I was like, what else can it be? So I just thought I'd lift, and they all seemed to be coming from like behind the bed. So I was like, I'm just gonna open it up and just see if there's anything in there. So I went over to lift the mattress up um, and just to see if there are like any more down there. And there were, oh my god, there were like, I don't know, hundreds of like big bed bugs, small bed bugs, eggs, little ones, like everywhere in the mattress, everywhere. Um, I was literally like, honestly, I was. I didn't know what to do. Um, I was like on my own. I didn't really have anyone in that flat or anyone nearby. Um, and yeah, I, I honestly, it was horrible. There were so, so many. And I have no idea how the person before me like wouldn't have like reported it or the agency didn't do anything about it. I don't know, but it gets worse, it gets worse. Anyway, from that point, I didn't know what to do, I had nowhere to go, um, it was really late at night, so I slept on the floor with a blanket, um, because I didn't want to sleep in the bed, I mean with bed bugs that doesn't even do anything because they just crawl towards where they can smell food, aka human blood. Um, so yeah, I had to sleep on the floor, I barely slept, I felt like I was living a nightmare. So in the morning I went to work, um, I called and well, I emailed the agency. They didn't respond. Um, nothing. So finally, I called them. I was like, I've had no response. Blah 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 blah. Like, what is going on? Like, are you going to do anything? I need something done now. I've got nowhere else to stay. And then they just basically they just replied saying, I have informed the contract. They basically just said to me, they have informed the contractor, um, and that he'll be coming to do a treatment. 
And at this point, I ha they didn't tell me a time frame, what treatment they were doing. Yeah, and basically what happened was my work were really understanding, so I went back to my hometown, Bournemouth, and I worked from home during this period. But um, yeah, a few days later, I was like, what is going on? Um, so they weren't in a rush to like do anything about it. Plot thickens, by the way, like it does get worse. Um, and then about four weeks later, after I've been working from home during this period. So four weeks later, they said to me, um, we will get the contractor to contact you to tell you what he's done and, and it's also safe to move in. So I was like, okay, all right then. Um, so I said, okay, um, they said that the contractor was gonna call me that day and he never called me that day. I didn't hear anything from the agency. So I emailed saying I need Steve to like call me. I need to know what's been done because I was very traumatized at this point. And they basically just said, it's safe to move. I said it's safe to move in. So yeah, and I was like, okay. I felt, I really, at this point, I really didn't trust what they were saying. I had like no reason to. I asked for his number and they didn't give it to me either because I just wanted reassurance to know what he'd done. And also like, just as an FYI, when you have bed bugs, you need to have the entire flat fumigated. You can't just have one room fumigated because what happens is the bugs like go to the next room, um, they escape the room, so the whole place needs to be fumigated so there's nowhere for them to escape. Um, I mean, I've become an expert. I was I was really, really in a bad place. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, my arms were absolutely covered. So when it initially happened, two days after, because bed bug bites take a few days to come through, my arms were absolutely covered covered my legs my ankles everything i was covered from head to toe in bed bug bites i was like okay so the weekend passed and i was like they said it's safe to move in so i'm gonna go and have a look i arrived at about 10 30 p.m or yeah about 10 30 11 p.m because i'd come from home so i got a bit of a later train than i probably should have um i walked in the room like and they said it was safe. They said they had done something about it. They said they had fumigated the room. Oh my God, like the room was covered in dead bed bugs everywhere as well as live ones still crawling around. Honestly, it was horrible. I literally burst into tears. I didn't know what to do. I was honestly like, at this point I was dreaming about bed bugs like at night I was dreaming that they were still there or like following me and oh it was horrible but um yeah no it was awful they were they were dead they had not bothered to clear up any of the dead ones um and then there were still live ones there was still a lot of live ones because I managed to find a lot and also when bed bugs okay as a thing bed bugs are extremely difficult to find you don't usually realize you have them for a few months they were very like thin so they like hide in the cracks um you don't normally see them and they're quite hard to see so you have to really really like look very thoroughly um to find any in this place they were literally everywhere like for the infestation to be that bad, it would have had to have been there for a long time. And I have no idea how this didn't get reported or sorted. Like, it mu they must have known about it before renting out the room. Like, I, I don't know, it was horrible. Um, but yeah, I arrived at 10.30, 11 p.m. at night. Um, I burst into tears and I was like, I can't stay here. Um, I, can't, I can't, it was horrible. So I got a taxi to a friend's house really late at night and I stayed the night at her house. I took videos of everything so I could send it to the agency and be like, what the is this? Like, cause yeah, it's not right. I sent a really long email about this as well. Really ang not angry, like annoyed basically. Just like, what is going on? This is unprofessional. I have like had to, had a lot of disturbance mentally in my work and everything. And then I also said that I wasn't gonna be paying them the month's rent because I haven't lived there and I shouldn't have to, considering they, um, I asked for my first month's rent back actually. I asked for my deposit back and I said I'm not paying the next month's rent. <clears throat> they had the audacity to say to me that you've not paid your rent this month. That's all they said. They said 
you've not paid your your rent and I was like why would I pay my rent like why when I was like living through that situation and they were doing absolutely nothing about it they were awful honestly they didn't give a shit they didn't do anything but yeah so I basically after that happened, I made up my mind that I was a hundred, hundred, hundred percent not going, even if they sorted the situation, I was not going to go back there. I didn't like the agency. When I went back to see the bed, bed bug room, um, I saw that the sink had still not been fixed, the water had turned yellow. So I, yeah, I made up my mind I wasn't going to live there. Um, and I started to look for new places, I, I kept trying to ask them for my money back. They were ignoring me, they didn't respond to me, they never asked me for the keys back either, like I still have the keys, they never ever asked me for the keys. Um, they, yeah, and eventually they wouldn't give me anything back, so I um, had to go through solicitors um, who are still fighting the case, um, just because of COVID it was delayed, but they're still kind of like, um, that is an ongoing thing, because I'm trying to get my money back. So my first month's rent, um, um, agency fees and any compensation that um, I should get. Um, I managed to get my deposit back by going through the deposit scheme, but even that was a nightmare. The deposit scheme gave me my deposit back, but the agency said to me that they were going to give me my deposit back eventually. And then they said, and then they ignored me. And then when I tried to do it through the scheme, they were like, no, we're not giving the deposit back and they didn't give a proper reason um but i got it through i got it they made it really difficult for me but i got it back i submitted all my evidence and the deposit scheme were like yeah have your deposit back but it was yeah so it was a massive it was a really difficult time um and it was really ongoing i had when i moved i went up to london with my parents to collect all my belongings i had to be really really careful because bed bugs spread really easily um and I collected some bits and bobs, but I did leave a lot. I had to leave, I left my duvet, duvet covers, pillows, because I just didn't want to risk it. Um, so I had to buy all new stuff, which was actually quite expensive. I think it came up to about like 500 pounds, like all my kitchen stuff, everything. And yeah, so that is all kind of stuff that the lawyers are working towards getting me back. We ended up having to get my house fumigated because we were suspicious that there might have been some. Um, so we got our home, my home fumigated as well, which was an additional cost. So that is something that's also been sent over to the lawyers for them to try and claim back. But that is literally what happened and even months after, or weeks after, I was still dreaming. I wasn't 100% sure, I was like worried there were bugs still around. Like I wasn't getting any bites or anything, but I'd have dreams about bugs still being there. and and things like that and I was just really panicky all the time that they, they, they would still be there and it was really really horrible um so I really that agency is probably the worst agency I have ever dealt with I've dealt with a lot of bad agencies in London because in London they're absolute like they're really bad oh yeah and also like Eventually, so after the months of ignoring me and like when I um, the solicitors contacted them, um, a week later I got an email saying, they were like, oh, please make sure you're not in the property during these this and this time. We are doing a full flat fumigation. And I was like, why didn't you do that before? Like, why didn't you act with such urgency before to deal with it? Like, why like months later would you do that after my solicitors have been in contact? And the agency, like, even, like, wouldn't you, they haven't even given my solicitors any insurance details, so I think my solicitor was like, I don't think they even have insurance. So, it is a bit weird, and, I mean, I don't know, I, I'm sure that the other flatmates would have had some as well, because, especially when I left, because what happens is, if you have bed bugs, like, and there's no one in the room they're in, but they can smell like human blood, warmth from another room. They will crawl to the other room to feed. So they must have had them. I don't know how this wasn't dealt with sooner. But yeah, that was my experience. I tried to keep this short, but it looks like I've like been recording for like 18 minutes. So yeah, that was my experience. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I don't know if you guys would find this interesting. I just really wanted to share it because like it was quite a big event in my life. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you.